Hello friends, my name is Patrick and I am here to discuss about shortcut methods in CAT. I have scored 100 percentile twice in the CAT examination and I have trained many students to get into IAMS. The basic idea of this lecture is to help you understand how to develop methods to solve sums faster. A lot of people believe that getting shortcut methods is difficult in CAT. I disagree with that. What is required for getting a shortcut method is basically a change in the approach of how do you attempt the CAT problems. Unfortunately, our whole education system doesn't support it. For example, right from the school days, we have been so used to using formulas and equations and all the maxims that we are still using it. But for using a shortcut method, you should move away from that method. So nowadays, whenever we see a sum, we still try to use the equation or we still try to see a formula. When I go to various forums which are available, the problem lies the same thing. All the sums are solved by equations or by formulae. There are very few sums which are solved without a formulae. Whereas if you look at the CAT examination, almost all the sums can be solved without a formulae or without using a formulae. Even a coaching class does, don't help on that. Because in most of the coaching class, what it's done is, they give us question, they solve by formulae and they get the answer. The basic way to approach a sum is try first to look understand the sum. Okay, to help you understand what I am talking, let's take an example. I had given this sum to a couple of my students who had scored 94 percentile plus in the previous cap. Now what did I do with this? They looked at the first part of the formula, the first part of the sum, formed the equation for 7 days, took the second part, formed the equation for 9 days and tried solving. Unfortunately they could not get the answer in 2 minutes. I told them this is very uncat like. Try avoid using equations as far as possible. So I explained, look, if there was no uniformly grown grass, the sum was very simple. But since there is a uniformly grown grass, you have to look at that aspect. Now how do I look at or how do I find out uniformly grown grass? So first I look at the option. There is not much that the options can do in this particular sum. So I go back and then focus on grown grass. So I look at 7 days. For example, if I have 7 days, so 29 goats, 7 days comes to 203 goat days. That means in 7 days we have grass equivalent to 203 goat days. Same way if you look at 25 goats, in 9 days you have 225 goat days. That means in 2 days time you have 22 goat days which is grown. So in 1 day it is equal to 11 goat days. So in 1 day the amount of grass that has grown is 11 goat days. So in 7 days we have 203 goat days, so in 6 days we will have 203 minus 11 which becomes 192 goat days. Now 192 goat days has to be consumed in 6 days which means 192 upon 6 will give you the answer 32. So what is required in this sum? You need not actually form an equation, you have to just understand the importance of what is given, that is uniformly grown grass, try to find it and get the answer. You form an equation, it will take more time and you may not even get the answer. So basically coming back, how do you go about getting shortcut method with regards to cap? Try avoid using the huge theorems and formulas which are available. When you go to forums, you will see the Chinese theorem, people solving by, people solving by some other theorems. Most of these formulae theorems not required. What is required by CAT and what does CAT test you on is a simple approach of how to solve the sums. And one more important thing is if you get a method while solving the sum, try to even search for more shortcut methods. One of the shortcut methods that normally use is you use options. So here I can substitute options and also get the answer. So say I substitute the D option. So I know A plus B plus C upon 2. So if I do A plus B plus C upon 2, I will get S is equal to 12. 
Now substitute here s minus a, s minus b, s minus c. You will get the ratio is one ratio seven ratio four. Satisfies. Simple way of solving. But it's even simpler way of solving. So the key to getting a shortcut method is try to keep on searching for shortcut method. If I look at this sum closely, I realize that s by this b has the largest value out here, seven. That means b has to be the smallest. So from the options when I look at, there are two options, b and b, which are possible. Again, I look s minus a is the smallest value, one out here. That means a has to be the largest. Automatically, the answer becomes d option. So here you can also do by just eliminating options. You don't require a rocket science to get the answer. Just understand the basic funda of ratios, and you'll be able to get the answer in this sum. So whenever you get a shortcut method, try even getting better methods on that. It's just keeping on trying that will help you off. If you don't get a method, try to ask a friend of yours or try to ask a teacher, and they might help you with regards to shortcut methods. It's only that habit which once it's formed will help you to solve things faster. The shortcut method without the options also. Okay, let's take another sum. Okay, if you read this sum, they say number of people who visited Taj Mahal is 40. If you exclude the holidays, then the average increase by 16. For the if you exclude also ma the maximum number of 112, then the average becomes 42. Options are not of much help, but one way is just substituting. I know particular week. It means I can know that there are seven days. So let me say seven into forty, two eighty for the total number of people. If we two eighty total number of people, now when holidays are removed, the average becomes increased by sixteen. That means the average new average becomes forty plus sixteen, which becomes fifty six. So number of days becomes two eighty upon fifty six. So we have five days. Just to confirm, we can go further. 280 minus 112, which we remove the maximum number of days, so you get 168. Now 168 is for four days, which you get as 42. So one method. Can I get another shortcut method? Yes. For example, I know when the total is same. What is total? Average into number of days will give you total. When the total is same, average is inversely proportional to number. Now, if you look at average, the ratio is was 40 and it became 56. So, if average the ratio is 40 to 56. The number of days the ratio will be 56 is to 40 because total is same. 56 is to 40, 7 is to 5. That means the number of holidays will be 2, and you'll get the answer as 2. The same sum can be solved by multiple approaches. The key is to try to look out for these approaches. It's just common sense. Try to understand the sum and try to solve it. A very important condition for a shortcut method is you should be able to use that method in multiple sums. A method which you can only use for a particular sum is no shortcut method, because understand the CAD exam every sum that comes is different, and therefore you need to be different to able to get a better way. Don't get disheartened if you don't get methods initially. It's only the practice and trying that will help you off. I know a lot of people who just give up the method, saying that oh, it takes too long, or I'm not getting the sums right, or it doesn't click in the exam. Understand anything that you try new, you will be slow at it at first. For example, when you're trying a cycle, initially when you try the cycle, I'm sure you must have fallen down many times. You are slow at driving the cycle. But once you are comfortable with it, you could drive the cycle fast, the way you want, how you want it. The same is with regards to shortcuts. If you give it up, the first time you fall, you would have never learned to drive a cycle. The same thing. If you just give it up, you will never learn to develop shortcut methods. It's very important that you develop shortcut methods by just keeping on trying. Even today, when I teach students, I also learn a lot of methods from my students. Even they teach me. and learning is a constant process you keep on learning every day every time a new method new ways of solving and that's how you will improve with regards to cat and that's how will you improve with regards to your scores i will run a blog with regards to shortcut methods you can go through it catcoin.blogspot.in and you will get the blog with regards to this particular topic thank you